The Helldivers 2 community is currently review bombing the game and the CEO has finally responded. This is going to be an update to my previous video, so if you want to get the gist of what's going on, definitely check that one out. However, I'm still going to give you guys a quick rundown of what happened right now. So if you didn't see the first video or you don't know what's going on, let's do a quick recap. So basically what happened was the devs put out an article reminding players that they're going to need to link their Steam account with a PlayStation account if they want to continue playing Helldivers 2. So in retaliation for that, the players have been just review bombing the game and just leaving their negative comments and expressing their opinions. And that's pretty much where my last video left off. But after that, a bunch of information came out and developers and community managers started responding. Now, what's really crazy about this whole situation is that there have been so many negative reviews recently that it's changed not just the recent reviews from mostly negative, but it's changed all reviews to mixed. And that is a really impressive feat to happen. So basically, in the last 48 hours, all of the goodwill of this game has been completely eroded, and I imagine it's gonna still get worse than this. And what's crazy about this whole situation to me is that when I first started covering it, I personally didn't see this thing as being that big of a deal until I started doing some more research, and you know, mostly saw that there are a bunch of countries that players will not be able to play the game if they, you know, can't get a PlayStation account, which apparently is something that not even the community managers over at Arrowhead Games know about. So right around the same time as I was recording my first video, the the community manager split said this on Discord. It's not like this is the first or even the 14th mainstream game to require a third party account that takes a couple of minutes to create. But if it's a deal breaker to have to take 120 seconds out of your day to enter an email and password, then forget about it. Change your Steam review and make your displeasure known on a platform where it matters. Well, Splits, it looks like the players definitely decided to do that because now the game is just getting review bombed to hell. Now, it's hard to tell if Splits is being passive aggressive or not in this post here, but I imagine he's probably pretty frustrated with the amount of stuff that's going on right now. And I can't imagine being a community manager when this kind of drama is happening. It's probably a very terrible job to do. And then early this morning, he replied back after a bunch of people were criticizing him and saying like, hey, I live in a country that can't get a PlayStation account. So he said this. Yeah, I was completely unaware how many countries didn't have the ability to make a PSN account when I made that statement. I deeply regret implying that it was so easy for everyone to just sign up and not have to worry about it. It's absolutely not our intention to force people to break Sony TOS or just not play the game if they're in a restricted region. There needs to be a better solution. And honestly, good on him for putting out this post. And this just shows that the developers over at Arrowhead are definitely not the ones that were putting this whole signing up for PlayStation on us. This is definitely a Sony decision. And then again, right around the same time I put out my last video, the CEO of Arrowhead Studios put out this post on X. Ouch, right in the review score. Well, I guess it's warranted. Sorry everyone for how this all transpired. I hope we will make it up and regain the trust by providing a continued great game experience. I just want to make great games. And again, this was posted earlier in the day yesterday when the review scores were still mostly positive and mixed. Since then, they've gotten a lot worse. But he's been pretty active on X, and yesterday he was just replying to a bunch of people on there just talking about the whole situation. And again, it's very clear that this is not a decision that they wanted to make. It was, it's very clear that it's been forced on them from PlayStation to do this. And what's crazy about this whole thing is that it seems like they're kind of learning about all of this alongside us too in real time, where I guess in UK and Ireland, there's pretty crazy like draconic age verification things that you need to register a Sony account. But either way, this is definitely a very serious situation that Arrowhead Studios is inside now, and they really need to talk to PlayStation and try to figure out a way that they can, you know, backtrack this or get this whole linking thing removed because yeah, the players are not going to be standing for this. So yeah, that's where we're at now. We're just waiting for Sony to see what they're going to do or, or say to this. And I really hope this problem gets fixed because, man, this is, you know, Helldivers is such a great game and they really didn't need this problem. But anyways, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you guys think Sony is going to keel over and, you know, backtrack this? Or do you think they're just going to be radio silent? Either way, let me know in the comments section. Also, if you like this video, please leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching. I'm still solo, and I'll see you all in the next one.